Greetings. Good morning. Happy Lord's Day. Uh, as a really just really quick video I want to put out. Uh, as I've said before, the discussions on the pews in Savannah parallel the discussions on the Nazario stones in Puerto Rico. You see, in both cases, people are claiming Hebrew appears in the markings, and each argument seems to be largely based on certain markings resembling certain Hebrew characters in isolation, with little acknowledgement of the fact that all sorts of things that aren't actually Hebrew can resemble Hebrew characters. <laughs> and thus, in both discussions, there's a need to discuss the surrounding context, you know, the, the material that comes before and after what someone claims looks like Hebrew. And there's also a need for uh, an acknowledgement of the fact that language should be demonstrated via strings of characters forming words, phrases, and preferably sentences, not just individual characters in isolation. And then, of course, there's also a need for uh, a consistent standards, you know, and, and discussions on methodology in general. But beyond that, both conversations are also plagued by proponents of the Hebrew claim constantly trying to change the topic or get personal, right? You know, rather than just examine the markings and discuss methodologies for interpreting them, people are attempting to shift the topic and, like I said, you know, get personal. Uh, for example, when it came to discussions on the pews, there were legal threats and accusations of witchcraft and attempts to liken skeptics to those who enforced slavery in the antebellum South. Uh, beyond that, because I specifically happen to be Catholic, there were attempts to change the topic to what about Catholicism? And then uh, similarly, uh, when the Orthodox Moor took positions that people didn't like, there were attempts to divert the conversation to whether Moors in general are quote unquote sellouts and, you know, just all sorts of other frankly, nonsense that just wasted time that could have been better spent, like I said, examining the markings and discussing methodologies for interpreting those markings. And so with that in mind, I wanted to show uh, this post. You see, Vocab Malone put up a post about uh, the Nazario stones and I reshared it. He put it up on Facebook and I reshared it on Facebook. And in the comments section, a proponent of the view that Hebrew appears on the stones wrote the following, quote, the stones recovered on Boricua Island are of Albare origin. He means Hebrew. That's what he's trying to say. And then the second paragraph uh, gets, you know, <laughs> begins to discuss uh, the New Testament, takes a jab at the New Testament because this particular Israelite rejects the New Testament. Okay, fine. Right? I left a comment. You know, since he's commenting on a thread about the Nazario stones and he's explicitly claiming that Hebrew appears on them, this is what I wrote to him. I said, can you demonstrate that Hebrew appears on the stones? Preferably point to specific markings and transcribe what you think appears therein, right? So he claimed there's Hebrew on the stones and I'm inviting him to demonstrate that claim, right? Let's have a conversation about it. And here's the response I got. Well, first off, one gentleman said, I'm here to see that, see that as well, right? He wants to see if he's going to uh, demonstrate such. And here's, but here's how the guy responded. He said, you asking me to demonstrate is ridiculous. You were demonstrated by Yahweh Aulau Yawan, <laughs> Thawada scriptures. By Thawada, he means uh, the Torah. And he's referring to God's Torah. Uh, you were demonstrated by such uh, the Matthew to Revelation Bible B-I-T-C-H book you pedal is pure S-H-I-T. You didn't, don't care, so in turn, my initial demonstration must be hammered into your mind, and then we can continue, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, the point is, he's basically saying that before we can discuss the topic of the thread, <laughs> before he's going to be invited to demonstrate his own claim that Hebrew appears on the Nazario stones, he wants to have an argument about the New Testament. Like I've said before, it's a familiar pattern with proponents of the claim that Hebrew appears on the Nazario stones. They parallel the claim that Hebrew appears on the pews in Savannah insofar that in both situations, you have a lot of people who want to waste a lot of time and also want to try and get personal, you know? So I just wanted to share this really quickly, just offer this analogy. Uh, it's, it's unfortunate, but it's also interesting. I, I imagine... There's uh, uh, some potential here to, <laughs> to, to produce some sort of psychological profile of a lot of the proponents of these claims. Now, of course, that doesn't apply to everyone, and I'm not trained in psychology, so I don't know exactly how that would go. But uh, I, I, I must confess, I'm tempted to think that there's a possibility there. You know, there could be some interesting profiles that could be written. But whatever the case, um, just wanted to share that uh, really quickly, offer that parallel. I guess you could call it an analogy. And uh, I look forward to any comments, questions, criticisms. And uh, have a great day. Have a great Lord's Day. God bless.